Hey, this is Wes S. Uh, it's kind of going through the comments on my videos. There's not a lot of them, but um, the on that uh, how to cook fish to get the most out of it. Take these off. Um, the question is, why do it like that? I mean. Um, it, think about the fish, okay? Its head, I mean, it's got fat in it, right? Okay, all that fat's encased in inside the skin and the bone. One, I mean, the fish's brain ain't very big, but it's still made out of a type of fat, and between that brain and the rest of the fish is a spinal cord. That spinal cord travels down through the vertebrae. If you can start to liquefy the fats in the head and then allow the heat to travel or cause that fat to travel down the spinal cord through the vertebrae and as it cooks, it's going to go through the, I don't know if fish have discs or whatever, but the, the little connecting tissues or whatever. Um, and it's going to get into the meat. The fat from the head is going to get into the meat. I don't know, until you do it for yourself, until you really, I mean, uh, think about it. When you cook, even just without going through the extra effort of cooking the head first when you, when you do a cook a trout if you cook it a trout head on and I don't maybe it's just me but I wouldn't cook a trout any other way because it tastes better uh, a bass you can cut fillets out of it and then batter it and fry it waste of frying or you can scale it and grill it. There's, but if, I mean, if you take a take catfish, well, because I mean, that's all I do. A catfish, I always skin them. Because, but a bass, if you fillet it and then grill it, the fillet gets really dry. You have to put butter and such on it. You have to marinate it to get it to do right. Or you can take that same bass and just take the stuff you don't want to be going into your system, you know, the spleen and all that. I guess I got spleen, I don't know. Not a fish biologist. But if you take all the stuff out, I mean like uh, that cooking that bladder is not going to hurt you. That uh, air bladder. Cooking the uh, heart's not going to hurt you. Cooking the stomach's not going to hurt you. I mean, all you got to do that stomach is make a little hole in it and squish the stuff out and rinse it out. And then all the, and actually everything that's inside that fish is inside the fish. Once you cook it, it's cooked. There's some fish out there you got to worry about the eggs and stuff because they're, they're poisonous. But when you cook a fish whole, then the fat naturally stays in the body. If you're starving, the whole thing is if you can only get so much food, in the form of your fish or whatever the best way the most palatable way is I don't know but I've I've made fish soup I've I've caught the uh, fish and flayed them and then and I I'm sorry I don't care really how you do it the the fish soup never turned I mean it tastes like boiled fish with and, and yeah no it would be really hard to to do that but now if you can get the the fat that you're going to boil out of the the bones and stuff to just go into the meat or the better part of it and then boom you eat the deal here's the beauty of it after you started after you've cooked the fish like this those skeletons what's left of the fish or whatever you can quite literally boil that just keep it put it in a pot Keep it to where the fire will keep it almost boiling or lightly boiling if you're going to be around. If you're going to be around, you got to be careful. 
but it don't take but uh, a few hours to where that, that bones get soft. And then you eat the bones and everything. On some that don't know smaller fish for sure. Um, this is, I mean, we're talking in situations or scenarios where you've really got to worry about whether or not you're getting enough food. Um, it's not, not so much that there's a right and wrong way. I, I think I, I, I just put how to. I didn't put the right way to. But um, if you catch a fish and in that fish, that, that one fish that you catch, say there's a hundred available calories in that entire fish. And then you take 10 calories away with the, with the guts in the head, or the guts. Then you take another 10 or 15 calories away with the skin. And then you take the head away and take another 10 calories. Instead of having 100 calories, you wound up cheating yourself down to 30, or uh, 70. Can't do math. They've been strong for And... Or you can get the 100 calories out of the fish. The under the skin is a really thin layer of fat. Every creature on the on the planet has it. And if you don't scale the fish and eat the skin, you're throwing that fat away. If you don't. I mean, and boiling the fish, I guess, would be all right. I mean, like I say, I'm I can't do it because I don't I don't like I don't like fish too. Uh, now I've had something that was pretty good, but it, it had potatoes and stuff. In it. it was actually more potato than anything else. And uh, it uh, I forget what kind of fish it was, but the guy took the fish heads and he boiled them. I mean, he he, he kept them in. Uh, it was six or eight hours. He's boiled them. And then he literally smushed them all up. I mean, we, we ate fish tongues, gills, and the whole nine yards. We ate it all. Um, and then he put potatoes in it and salt and pepper and some chives and some other stuff. I and mean, he mixed it all up. And it was actually pretty good. But it was... All the other stuff covered up the fact that you were eating boiled fish heads. And, uh, anyway, the, that is the reason behind cooking the fish that way, is to use limited resources and to get the most out of what you can. Next day I've done, I've fish, I'm, uh, in, in my, my 50s, and I've been fishing since I was 11 years old. I have eaten hundreds of fish cooked on a open fire, and I actually that is that's the way I prefer to do it. And um, I think I might have said it on the video. I mean, very seldom, if ever, do the fish that I catch at the lake make it home. I mean, unless I catch a lot, they're not coming home because I eat them. But that's the, the whole thing is I know for a fact from eating it year after year I mean after you after you grill the filet you can take it up you know with this is I'm just taking you take the filet and you put it on the fire it doesn't it's, just, it's not greasy on your fingers you cook it with the skin on and the bone in and peel that meat off your hands get greasy I mean it's there's actually a fish oil film on your hands and it's not water it's it's oil. It stays there until you wash it off. And uh, I don't know why there's salt in the eyeballs of a fish. I, I don't know, but there is. So when you cook the fish, and the eyeballs do the change color thing, and then uh, the heads, and you turn it over, that salt water out of the, out of the eyeball follows the fat on down into the meat and. You get a little bit of something besides fish. It's really good. Just give it a shot. Get your fish and try it. Watch the other video. Uh, 
This one here is a little bit longer than I wanted it to, but I was trying to answer some questions. That's exactly the reason. The, and it does. I, I mean, that's the only thing I can figure is it follows the highway of the spinal cord down into the rest of the meat. And if you think about it, the spinal cord is made of the same thing the brain is. So instead of throwing that out, you're, you're getting it. And you can just as easy boil uh, the bones and the heads and stuff again after you've cooked it. This way. I mean, you're not. I mean, you don't have to throw it in the fire. You can throw it in a pot and boil it again. Then you've added a little bit of smoky flavor to your soup at the very least. Anyway, hope this video helped. If it sucked, it's too late. You already watched. So, be blessed. Catch you next time.